Hello everybody, this is Solar Taker with another wind and solar power video. Today is Sunday the 25th of October and the time now is just gone 8am in the morning. The clocks went back this morning at 2 o'clock in the morning. So now it is autumn, but the winter is, is drawing near. The days are getting shorter and it gets dark early. So outside it's dull, but I have to tell you that I was planning to go to a 24 volt system on my solar power system, but I have had to go back to my old 12 volt system. Now the reason for this I'm going to explain is that I had a, a working 12 volt system and all my components were 12 volts so I had I have my wind turbine the Rutland 913 it's a 12 volt turbine there are the solar panels the two 100 watt solar panels now they are on an MPPT system which means the solar panels operate at a higher voltage than the battery bank. So they can work with with a 24 volt system without any problem. But my main problem was with the wind turbine. Obviously now that it's getting nearer to the winter, the days are shorter. So there is less solar, less sun. So I'm relying on other methods of charging. So my main other methods of charging are the wind turbine and my battery charger. Now, the wind turbine is 12 volts and so is the battery charger. It only works on 12 volts. So, if I have my system wired up for 24 volts and I have a very dull day outside where there's not much sun, then I have no other method of charging up the batteries. Because, because I tried voltage converter circuits, voltage doublers on the wind turbine, and it just doesn't work. I can get the voltage okay, but no current. And these devices put a, a large load on the wind turbine, and it just doesn't turn. So that doesn't work. Uh, using a 12 volt battery charger and a 12 volt, 24 volt battery bank. That's a no-go too. So, I was looking on eBay at buying new equipment, and new equipment is expensive. 24 volt equipment is much more expensive than 12 volt equipment. That applies to inverters, windmills, battery chargers, and the like. So that idea is on hold at the moment. I may go to a 24 volt system if I can get the other equipment cheaply so I will be looking on eBay and just keeping an eye out but at the moment I've gone back to the 12 volt system so the, when it's windy the wind turbine can charge the batteries and if it's not windy and it's dark I can use the battery charger so at the moment I'm back to 12 volt system where I can use my current inverter because I don't like to plug things into the wall socket so that's how that works I have disconnected the voltage converter so we have the load wired directly back to the charge controller Yesterday I managed to get 36 watts out of the wind turbine. It was pretty windy and it was very wet. But I got 36 watts out of the wind turbine and a current of just over 2 amps. So that's better. That's more like it. So some advice for, for people out there. Connecting... DC to DC voltage converters to your wind turbine is a fail. 
You can get the, the voltage, but you won't get any current. And the current is what you need to charge the batteries. So, my thing here is that I started off with a 12 volt system. I bought 12 volt equipment that works on 12 volts. So, if you go to a different system voltage, you have to buy all new equipment. So, the trick here is to plan for the future. So, if you think you're going to be using, say, you will be needing a thousand watt inverter, say, buy a, th a thousand watt inverter rated at 24 volts, and set your solar panels up for 24 volts. If you buy a wind turbine, buy a 24 volt one, and you buy all your equipment matching. The way not to go about it is to buy 12 volt equipment and use it on the low power system and then decide that you want more power and then discover that you have to replace all your equipment because that is expensive. See, because I have two wind turbines and I spent a lot of money on these wind turbines but they are only 12 volts so if I want to buy 24 volt wind turbine then I have a lot of money tied up in equipment that I can't use so that is that I have had a lot of interest in my video the one that I said that I was going over to the 24 volt system so thank you for all the interest and one day I may go to a 24 volt system too but at the moment I have all my 12 volt components and at the moment I am not using a lot of power with the inverter I basically only use it to run charging units, AC chargers for the, equip the electrical equipment I have and I don't use much more than say 100 watts at a time so at the moment this system does what I want it to do okay I said I wanted to run the vacuum cleaner but I only run it every now and again and due to the cost of buying new equipment I will have to put up with running the vacuum on the wall socket so this system does what I need it to do at the moment so I will keep an eye out for 24 volt equipment if it comes up at a good price. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.